From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Emily Luxon with your news headlines. The Tennessee Titans are back home after a big win in Baltimore. At around 2.30 Sunday morning, fans lined up at St. Thomas Sports Park to welcome the team home after their 28-12 win over the Ravens. Fans said they wanted to show their support for the team. The Titans will face the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game next Sunday. Volunteers spent the morning searching for a missing Clarksville teenager. They spent several hours scouring L Rotary Park for any sign of Zachary Marsh. The 19 year old was last seen December 20th. He stopped at the Shell gas station on Whitebridge Road in Nashville. Then his car was found one day later in Montgomery County near the Cumberland River off Gerald Ridge Road. There is a $17,500 reward for information leading to Marsh's location. Anyone who has any information should call the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. A man believed to be armed and dangerous is off the streets in Clarksville. Police say Eric Hoosier turned himself into the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. He was wanted in connection to an overnight triple shooting at a club on Fort Campbell Boulevard. Police say Hoosier got into an argument with some men inside the club and then shot three men. Hoosier has three aggravated assault and possession of firearm warrants on file. And here's meteorologist Henry Rothenberg with a look at your forecast. Emily, through the overnight, we're going to have to deal with some fog out there, and it will be dense in some locations, so please keep that in mind, especially if you work the third shift. We're talking about visibility a mile or less for many folks. That will also be the case for the Monday morning commute with poor visibility before that fog begins to dissipate across the Mid-South. Temperatures, they're going to be a bit cool out there, about 41. It is above average, but there's that damp feeling in the air. Seven-day forecast, it will be dry for Monday, but Monday night after a high of 60 during the day. The rain chances are back. You gotta watch for a stronger severe storm on Tuesday and Wednesday before temperatures drop to the 40s by Thursday.